At Frederikshafen, the construction of the new Zeppelin LZ-129 is well underway. When completed, it will be over 800 feet long and will be replete with every luxury that the traveller can wish for. She will have in addition to promenade decks, a smoke room and salon, and her 25 cabins will provide sleeping accommodation for 50 passengers. She is intended for transatlantic service and will uh, complete the journey from Germany to North America in two days. Germany's new giant dirigible, the largest ever built, comes out of her shed at Friedrichshafen for the first time. She's been designed and constructed under the supervision of Germany's airship wizard, Dr. Hugo Eckner, who hopes in this ship to establish a regular passenger service across the North Atlantic. Although she's a lighter-than-air machine, it takes 200 men to haul her out onto the landing field. And then her ballast is run out and she rises and gathers speed to sail away on her first trial flight over Lake Constance. Germany's new Zeppelin just completing her first long-distance flight to South America, there's special interest in these pictures of the world's largest airship with her sister, the Graf Zeppelin, on their recent flight over Berlin, when the combined roar of their engines drowned even the noise of the traffic. And now Patrick Gazette presents the first pictures ever to be taken on board the new airship in flight. Her designers claim that she sets a new standard in comfortable air travel, and even smoking is allowed in the special fireproof writing room a dangerous luxury with millions of cubic feet of explosive hydrogen just above. He doesn't look too happy about it. 